Before cooking, make sure you have read your recipe, you've gathered your ingredients and all of your equipment. Have parent permission and supervision before cooking. Welcome back to the kitchen. And what we're going to be doing now today, ladies and gentlemen, is making some sauteed vegetables. And we're going to do this with a little, um, using some Asian flavors. Remember, before cooking, you always get parent permission and always cook with, with parent supervision. And so our recipe that we're using calls for squash, ye uh, yellow squash, zucchini, some garlic cloves. We're going to use uh, yellow and red peppers and a little red onions. So I'm going to go ahead and preheat our skillet. And then once it gets preheated, we're going to add just a little oil to it. And then we're going to use this type of order to cook it. So the things that are going to take the longest to cook, we cook first, and then we add the ones that take the less time. So we're going to start with the squash and zucchini first, then we'll add the onions and peppers, and then the garlic, and then we'll add our seasonings. Now that our skillet's preheated, we're going to add just a little oil, about two tablespoons worth of oil. And we're going to add our squash, this is our zucchini, excuse me, and our squash. And we're going to let that cook. And our goal is to develop flavor, so we're going to add just a little salt. And again, the recipe is salt and pepper to taste. And while that's cooking, I have my clove garlic and my garlic press. And I'm just going to press my garlic to have it ready. And what a garlic press does is just finely mince our garlic. So that way we don't have to use a knife to do it. And just remember there is flavor in the brown, so that's okay if it gets a little brownish-ish. We don't want it to be too darkish. So the little definition for sauteing is jumping. So we're going to keep things moving around. And then with sauteed veggies, they should have somewhat of a bite to them. They're not going to be completely, they're not going to be raw, but they're also going to be, uh, have a, a slight toothsomeness to them. Now at this stage, we're going to add our peppers. That's a yellow and a red pepper. And these are sweet peppers. Add just a little bit more salt, just a little bit. Again, we're flavoring as we go. We built the layer of the flavor. And we're gonna add our onions as well. Now look at those colors. Those colors look amazing. And remember that with different colors, you have different vitamins and minerals that go with your veggies. Now we're ready to add our garlic. And we add the garlic class because garlic will burn and we don't like the bitterness of garlic when it burns. And then we're going to add our sesame seed oil, about one teaspoon, about one teaspoon worth. Actually, that's a half teaspoon, about one teaspoon. 
sesame seed oil can be very powerful, so we don't want to add too much to it. But we're going to use this as a flavoring agent for our veggies. Next, we have our seasoning packet. And here is Chinese five spice garlic powder, onion powder. And by allowing it to cook with your veggies, it's going to take some of that raw flavor out. And enhance the flavor of our veggies. Chinese Five Spice has Szechuan peppercorns, which has a numbing effect on our palate. Now I'm going to reduce the heat. And lastly, I'm going to add three teaspoons of soy sauce. To our veggies. And remember, soy sauce is salty, so you don't you gotta be careful. Because if you add too much, then it can be very overpowering. And then last but not least, what we want to do is take a few, take a taste to see if we need to adjust our seasonings. Try and get a piece of squash too. And it's good, it has a slight crunch to it. And that's what we want. We can just do a little finishing salt on it. And we're ready to serve, ladies and gentlemen. So now that we're ready to serve, I'm just gonna take a spoonful. And I just happen to have some brown rice pilaf prepared. I'm gonna serve it over the brown rice pilaf. Now this would be really good if you had some shrimp. You could take some ground chicken, some ground uh, beef, serve it with it. Some tofu would be good, crushed up peanuts, some sesame seeds would be good in it as well. So there's a lot that you can do with these veggies, just them how I'm serving them. So again, happy cooking.